Hey guys, David, what are we doing today? I'm a little shocked that you would ask me such a question because this is a, I have no idea what you're picking and I don't know what you're putting against. So it's a pick one and uh, I don't know what you picked and I don't know what the other glass is either. So I picked a bottle okay. and then I picked a comparable bottle. Okay. I'm interested to see which one you'll choose. Okay, so what's which is which? <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> there is no way. Don't there look. is no way you can mix it around that much. There is. If you mess it up, I'm gonna be really mad. First up, we are tasting Rock Hill Farms Single Barrel Bourbon. It is at a hundred proof. It's a Buffalo Trace product. That smells really good. I think it's I'm getting a little bit of a Buffalo Trace. I've got to be honest with you. I'm getting some Buffalo Tracey notes. I'm getting some very faint, uh, ripe raspberry, caramel, cream sauce, a little bit of baking spice, almost like uh, vanilla cupcakes. Wow, yes. With all raspberry of that. sauce on top. <laughs> I'm a fan. It has a little bit of lemon and honey and some spice, and then everything else that you just said. That's really good. That's amazing. That's really good. Getting a little proofiness on it. It's got that berry you were talking about. I get a titch of honey on that. Yep. Like almost like a raspberry lemon. I get vanilla cream. There's a I get that caramel. There's a tartness to it. There is. But I get like a chewy caramel too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has a really, a really nice mouthfeel. I'm just wrapping my head around the, the tartness of it. That third sip got a little bit easier. I'm getting honey, um, caramel cream, titch of brown sugar, a nice little bit of a barrel oak, nice baking spice. It's got a really good palate. I'm a fan. It's good. I like I it. I got a teaspoon of sugar and a cup of brown sugar with a drizzle of caramel. I got two teaspoons of sugar, Jamie. A I got more sugar teaspoons than you do. <laughs> Up next, we've got Blanton's Single Barrel. This comes in at 93 proof. Ooh. Not Buffalo Trace. I don't know if the other one was Buffalo Trace or not, but it smelled very similar and tasted similar. What are you getting, David? I'm getting honey, caramel, brown sugar. Do you get a little tobacco on it? Yeah. Little cherry, cherry sauce, maybe. No, you don't get that cherry, it's very unripened cherry, no. like with the seeds inside of them. I'm not going to agree just because you keep talking more about it, Jamie. It's tasty, it, I just don't it. get it. Smell it now, David. Oh, now it smells like cherry. <laughs> now that you asked me five times, so I would uh, say on the nose, this one was sweeter yes. and a little bit dessert like. This one tends is a little more spicy, but still a little dessert-like. Yeah, it's a little bit better balanced, so, you know, a little less sweet, a little more spicy, like you said. Like, do, you get, you. do you get a creme brulee or, like, some kind of cheesecake? I get a cheesecake. I'm getting a titch of peanut, titch of dusty barrel, a really nice kind of Snickers quality, chocolate caramel, um, nugget, a little bit of peanut. Really, really rich mouthfeel on this one, though. This one I taste, like really I know syrupy. you're saying Snickers. I'm almost getting more of like a Milky Way. I get like a chocolatey marshmallow mm -hmm. inside. I do get a little bit of peanut, but it's so faint. It's very faint. Yeah, I get, that's fair. That's. I get faint. a lot of spice on this. I get a little titch of cinnamon, a little clove, a little, um, just an ever so faint little bit of anise. It's it's really well balanced on the, the baking spices are really well, there's not like a pronounced spice. Mm -hmm. And I think this the spice pro provides a nice counterpoint to the sweetness on this mm -hmm. one. The more I get into this one, the less and less candy bar it is and more berry. I'm starting to get a little bit more like a strawberry mm. faintly. It's got a little bit of a bitterness it's to still, it. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. All right, second place, first place. Wow, we were on point. Yep. So this one is denser, 
it's got more caramel sweetness to it. It's more intense. I think it's a little higher proof. It's really good. To me, it reminds me of, I don't, I'm not saying it's weeded because I don't get any weedy notes on it, but it reminds me of like a, a like a, like a, a little bit of like a Weller or even like an E.H. Taylor, if E.H. Taylor had maybe a little more proof, something like that. So it's definitely, I think a little bit better. This one's thinner. I liked it. Um, but yeah, that's my... I, I feel like you summed it up really, really well. Um, I felt the same. I felt like this one um, was chewier. It was mouth-watering. It was yeah. desserty. This one was on the thinner side, even though it still was, you know, it was okay. I didn't love this one, but it was okay. Yeah. Now, proof. Just give me a ballpark of what you think both of these are. I feel like this is in the 105 to 110 proof range. Oh. And this is like maybe 95. We have a 93 proof in the house. Okay, that's And that then we have 100 proof. So the reason why I picked this is because there's never a bad time to put oh Blanton's in a blind so and then go get Rock Hill. Oh, you opened my Rock Hill? And I and I put the little plastic to make it look like I didn't open it too. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Do you see the plastic still on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have noticed. It was over on the store hall shelf, and uh, I've never had Rock Hill Farms before. This is the first bottle of Rock Hill oh, no. that I've ever had, and you cracked it. At least I got some of the first pour of it. So. You want to hear the bottle cork yeah. pop? Yeah. Let me hear it since I missed it. Shh. That's pretty good. It's solid. It's solid. I'm surprised you didn't hear it. it didn't blow you away when you were sitting out there. <laughs> Which horsey wins? The Blanton horsey top or the horse on the side of Rock Hill? <laughs> you decide. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think no. is the best horsey bottle. Okay, yes. Do that, but David, what? I want to know which one you feel like is Blanton. Oh, it's this one. Oh. I, I'm totally confident. This is Blanton's. This wow. Is See, honestly, I was kind of switching them out only because we just opened this and I was feeling like we were getting a just open bottle yeah. kind of taste. That's Blanton's. And our Blanton sometimes surprises us. Sometimes it's amazing by itself, yes. but then when it's put against something, usually it tends to fall behind. I feel like if you take Blanton's mm. at 93 proof against 100 proof Rock Hill Farms, uh, same mash bill, and uh, you just intensify it. So, so what do you know about Rock Hill Farms? Uh, it's Buffalo Trace, uh, 100 proof. Uh, it is, I believe, mash bill two, but I'd have to look that up to be sure. So Jamie, cut that if I'm wrong. Uh, you'll do the research and then uh, leave it in or let it out. Um, so same mash bill, a uh, little bit more proof. Age-wise, I don't know what this is reportedly. Flavor notes, though. What are you hearing that's better? So it's just more intense. It's just got a higher proof. 93 proof Blanton's. I bet you if Blanton's was 100 proof, if this bottle was 100 proof, it would be very, very similar. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, there's different, obviously coming from different Rick houses and, and whatever, but um, they're very, very similar because they're the same mash bill. Very similar notes. I feel like this tastes a titch older to me than the Blanton's, and I don't know if it's actually older or not. Mm -hmm. Tastes a teeniest bit older and uh, more intense, better mouth feel. If you're proof. if you're right. Number two is Blanton's. <laughs> Number one is E. H. Taylor. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Rock Hill Farm. <laughs> great, great. That's really good. I like that. All right. Okay, David. So how much is Rock Hill? So Rock Hill is, you know, like most Buffalo Trace stuff, the retail on it is is really inexpensive. I mean, you can go out there and get a George T. Stag from Buffalo Trace for $100, right? Everything's marked up. And so this is not, you know, this is a $60 bottle, but you regularly pay $100 to $200 for this bottle. And this one, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever had one. I got this as part of like a five-way bottle deal with somebody. Um, where I got this, an Elmer T. Lee, a E.H. Uh, e. Taylor uh, Rye, um, a, an old Booker's from 2017, and, and one other bottle. Oh, uh, so thank you, you, Chris. This was a, this was a great, great so haul. So you don't really know exactly how Because they much. were all blended together. Yeah, so, it's like a five-way bottle deal right there. Yeah, so it's all combined into one price. So 
uh, I don't know, a hundred bucks maybe? I mean, have you heard bucks? good things about it? I've heard good things about it. Um, you know, because it's the same mash bill as Blanton's, I've heard it's very similar to Blanton's. And I would agree, but, uh, you know, this having just been opened still had a lot more intensity to it, whereas the Blanton's I, I think is really mellowed out. Yeah, obviously the hype with Blanton's is not all it's hyped up to be, but it is good by itself. Now, I get that every time we put a bottle near it, it starts to fall behind. Yeah. And it tastes completely different when you taste it with something else. You know, and, and Blanton's is a great pour. It's a great $60, $80 bottle. You know, uh, if you've never had Blanton's and you can get it for 100 bucks or less, definitely grab it. You know, it's something great to try. My message to everybody about Blanton's is don't stress about a Blanton's. Grab an Eagle Rare, 10 years. It's old. Oh, yeah, I 10 agree. years, age dated. Um, it's fantastic. I think EH, uh, I think EH Taylor small batch is better than Bland's. I mm -hmm. think Eagle Rare is better than Bland's. I think uh, Weller Antique 107 is better than Bland's. Oh, yes. So, I mean, I think there's a lot of other Buffalo Trace product that you can get besides Bland's that are probably better. Even though all of them are hard to get. Totally get it. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't sweat not having a Bland's. Although having one bottle is pretty cool just so you can have it as a decoration. See, and that's, house. I agree. I agree. Try it once, at least. Ooh, can I stack them? And now I think... Ooh, that's a terrible idea. Still if you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Rope, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love Buffalo Trace whiskey. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, so now what do I do? So now, um, take your notes. Okay. And finish, write your notes. Me like you. What you're stealing it from? Me. I know. Thanks, David. Find a bottle you love. You're, because... you're...